So I'm going to quickly talk about maple syrup urine disease. Uh, this has an interesting biochemical correlation here. So we've got three amino acids. We've got a valine, an isoleucine, and then a leucine. So what is unique about each of these three? Well, they all have branched chains. So these are all the branched chain amino acids. So maple syrup urine disease is going to be the inability for the body to break down these branched chain amino acids. So uh, to break these down, we're going to need an enzyme. Uh, I have here, here's our amino acid. It gets broken down into an intermediate, into another intermediate, and then finally into, into its final uh, subunits. So at this part of each complex, we're going to have an enzyme, and it's going to be the branched chain ketoacid dehydrogenase enzyme. Uh, I'm just going to write it once. Branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase uh, branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase complex, also known as DCKDH. Much easier to write. All right, so that's the enzyme that's going to be required. You may be able to just skip over this. Valine is going to be broken down by this BCKDH enzyme, and that's going to result in a propanyl-CoA. Valine gets broken down uh, into propanyl-CoA, and that propanyl-CoA is then going to be used by the body in other pathways. Isoleucine, on the other hand, is also going to be broken down by this enzyme. However, it gets chopped into different products. And the products are going to be acetyl-CoA and then also propionyl-CoA. And, uh, and then finally, we've got leucine. Leucine, I saved for last. Leucine is going to be one of the ketogenic-only amino acids. There are going to be two amino acids that are ketogenic only. And that's leucine and lysine. So what does that mean? It means that when we break down leucine, which is going to be an amino acid, using the BCK dehydrogenase enzyme, we're going to result in two different products. We're going to result in an acetyl-CoA and an acetoacetate. Notice how uh, I said it's ketogenic. It's going to create a ketone. Ketones are two carbon units. An acetyl-CoA is a two carbon unit. Uh, so leucine is going to be ketogenic, meaning that it's going to be broken down into an acetoacetate molecule and then also and acetyl-CoA, uh, while these other two get broken down into the propionyl-CoA molecules, uh, so that's good. what's going to separate it. But if you have maple syrup urine disease, as you could suspect, one of the symptoms is going to be a maple syrup odor to your urine. You're going to have a maple syrup sweeter uh, urine smell. And then also you're going to get CNS problems, uh, such as mental retardation, and maybe even death. So this is the basics of maple syrup urine disease. It's where you knock out this enzyme. You get a buildup of the valine, isoleucine, and leucine. You really need to, uh, to avoid these branched chain amino acids. And uh, you're not able to create the products. So you get a backlog of these diseases. Uh, hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I always enjoy comments. Uh, otherwise, please like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.